Today I want to talk about the fascinating developments surrounding short sellers who are losing not just billions but potentially hundreds of billions in losses. These losses have far-reaching effects, most notably putting the largest pension fund in the U.S. in jeopardy. Hello and welcome to MC Daily. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the bell to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and enter our giveaway. However, keep in mind that this is not a video offering financial advice. First, let's analyze the financial turmoil experienced by short sellers, with a particular focus on B. Riley. Crystal Ball used Twitter to draw attention to the puzzling situation where B. Riley managed to post a net loss exceeding $1.75 million despite boasting record revenues. The disparity prompted concerns about the underlying source, which might be either massive realized losses or rising prices. This financial predicament for B. Riley appears to be driven by the significant unrealized invest in losses, specifically related to mark-to-market valuations on equity portfolios. The company's third quarter financial report showed astounding total revenues of $462 million, a remarkable 48% year-over-year increase, contrasted with a net loss of $1,758 million. This contradiction marked by significant stock, unrealized losses, investments, or short positions highlight the difficulties hedge funds and short sellers encounter. The consequences of these enormous losses go beyond specific financial institutions. Even the biggest pension fund in the U.S. is impacted by the ripple effects throughout the financial system. The second largest pension fund in the U.S. is considering borrowing more than $130 billion in cash to increase its liquidity instead of selling assets at distressed prices according to a tweet from Gold Telegraph. This indicates a serious scenario where the pension fund is having difficulty meeting its margin requirements, which led to the decision to borrow a significant sum of money rather than selling off assets. The size of this borrowing, at $30 billion, highlights how seriously the fund has failed to reach the necessary margin to support this. According to a Bloomberg story, the second largest pension fund in the nation, Cures California State Teachers Retirement System, wants to borrow more than $130 billion to manage cash. This action entails borrowing against 10% of the whole portfolio, which is consistent with a larger pattern of pension funds pursuing riskier investment approaches. Retirement systems are immediately impacted when hedge funds experience large losses, which forces them to borrow more money to protect their portfolios from liquidation. The seriousness of this circumstance becomes more evident when taking into account the underlying these borrowings are necessary since the investment hedge funds in charge of overseeing pension fund assets are suffering significant losses. When the triple impact is managed, it affects innocent retirees whose financial futures are linked to these pension funds. Teachers who rely on these funds to move beyond particular enterprises and pension funds find the situation even more unsettling because they lack autonomy in where their money is put. Short sellers' unrealized losses are posing problems for the larger financial scene. Concerning data from the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation DTCCC indicates that 3% of funds are needed for margin or cash collateral, as revealed by Suzanne Trimbath's tweet.3 trillion in open positions that are assured. Because of its low capitalization, the DTC poses systemic risks, with one failure potentially having far-reaching effects. Additionally, the influx of counterfeit shares into the financial system adds to the complexity making it difficult for regulators to fully comprehend the scope of the fraud. The difficulties are highlighted in Kristen Shodi's tweet. Regulators must stress the lack of openness and the possible severity of the deception. The risk is increased by Suzanne Trimbath's tweet, which highlights that just $120 billion is being protected by $250 billion. This disparity between the financial support and the possible losses in the event of a market upswing raises questions about the system's stability market makers, regulators, prime brokers, and other players in the financial system seem to be trading accusations in order to avoid taking accountability for the issue surrounding synthetic shares. In a related trend, this lack of accountability has led to the protracted delay on tackling synthetic shorting. 741 Trey's tweet draws attention to the First Bank 2024 will see fines for OBS. Though on a more positive note, the accumulation of fines and issues suggests that OBS might be on the verge of collapse adding another layer of instability to the financial landscape. The ongoing challenges resulting from OBS's takeover of Credit Suisse indicate potential vulnerabilities in the financial sector. On March 21, 24, MC Theaters will host a famous music event that is expected to generate additional revenue streams. The untitled event raises the possibility of yet another successful performance that might greatly increase in MC's earnings. With Adam Aaron confirming that Taylor Swift has made an astounding $261 million at the box office worldwide, the outlook for MC is further improved. 
the MC owns the rights to over 40% of the income and additional revenue from concession sales during theater showings. As more revenues come in, the company is positioned for increased profitability. In conclusion, the intricate interplay between short sellers' losses and pension fund challenges could lead to a surge in the price of AMC stock, potentially setting the stage for a new all-time high. Financial institutions' struggles and regulatory obstacles highlight how complex the current financial landscape is. These developments have an impact on more than just individual entities. They also have an impact on the broader dynamics of the market as the financial ecosystem struggles with risk factors and uncertainties. In order to minimize any possible systemic disturbances, stakeholders must exercise caution. That's all we have for you today, guys. What do you think of the AMMC stock? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.